Welcome to our Python programming exploration. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many developers ponder. Are there more than three types of methods in Python? Our viewer has already identified the classic trio, instance methods, class methods, and static methods. But what about that mysterious unknown method? Let's dive into the details and uncover the nuances of these method types, including how they behave differently in Python 2 and 3. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. In Python, there are indeed more than three types of methods. The classic ones are instance methods, class methods, and static methods. Let's explore these methods in detail. Here's a simple class called test that implements these methods. Notice how each method is defined and how they behave differently. Now, let's discuss the unknown method. This method does not have any decorators and does not take self or CLS as an argument. In Python 3, it can be called without an instance. In Python 2, calling this method without an instance would raise an error. This change in behavior is due to the removal of unbound methods in Python 3. To summarize, the unknown method behaves like a static method, but lacks the decorator. It can be called directly from the class, which is a feature introduced in Python 3. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Python, there are different types of methods. In Python 2, instance methods could create bound or unbound method objects depending on how they were accessed. Bound methods track the instance and pass it as self, while unbound methods do not. However, in Python 3, unbound methods were removed and accessing a method through the class simply returns a plain function without argument checking. The removal of unbound methods in Python 3 was intentional to reduce complexity. Discussions by Guido Van Rossum highlighted that they offered little benefit. An example of a method type is unknown MTHD, which is an instance method but broken. It creates a bound method object but fails to accept self since it takes no arguments. In Python 3, it can be called without arguments as it's treated as a plain function. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Python, the concept of methods varies between versions. In Python 2, methods can be unbound, while in Python 3, they are treated as simple functions unless called from an instance. An unbound method in Python 2 requires an instance to be called, while in Python 3, you can call it directly as a function without passing an instance. The design choice in Python 3 allows for more flexibility, treating methods without arguments as simple functions, which enhances polymorphism.
In summary, the type of method you encounter in Python depends on the version. Python 2 distinguishes between bound and unbound methods, while Python 3 simplifies this to function types. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, there are more than three types of methods in Python. The three built-in types are instance methods, class methods, and static methods. If you include the property decorator, that's four. Additionally, you can create your own method types. For example, you can define a new method type called optional self method. This method behaves like an instance method when called on an instance, but receives none when called on the class. The descriptor protocol is key to how methods work in Python. It allows Python to manage method binding and retrieval, enabling the creation of custom methods like optional self method. In Python 3, functions are treated differently than in Python 2. When accessed through a class, they remain unchanged, while they become bound methods when accessed through an instance. Overall, Python's flexibility allows for the creation of various method types, enhancing its functionality and adaptability. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.